subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Reef Manta Ray. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my kite. It's flying like a big bird in the sky. Oops, the wind got my kite. Wait for me, Hero. You found my kite, Hero. Hey, it's a water tank. Look at that. There's an animal swimming in the tank. What a weird looking animal. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The animal you found is a manta ray. There are only two types of manta rays, and this one is a reef manta ray. The reef manta ray is the smallest of the two, but an adult reef manta ray can still reach a width of up to five meters. Whoa, that's really big. But the reef manta ray we found is much smaller than that. It's probably a baby reef manta ray, Leo. Newly born reef manta rays are just over a meter wide. Reef manta rays are found along the coasts in the warm tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. I see. So what do reef manta rays eat? Reef manta rays are filter feeders. They simply open their mouths while swimming and feed on small animals from the water, such as shrimp and krill. Reef manta rays are independent creatures. After birth, a baby reef manta ray, which is called a pup, receives no further care from its parents. That means the baby manta ray doesn't need to go back to its mother. But the tank in our garden is too small for it to live in. We should bring the reef manta ray back to the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Creatures floating on the sea. They are sea jellies. Sea jellies are marine animals that swim in the ocean. Turtles and large fish hunt it for food. There are so many of them. Hey, what's that up ahead? It's Ranger Rocky. He's surrounded by a lot of sea jellies. That must be a sea jelly bloom. A sea jelly bloom is when a huge number of sea jellies appear suddenly. Ranger Rocky, are you okay? Hello, Leo. I am stuck in a sea jelly bloom. If I drive my jet ski, I might harm the sea jellies. So I have nowhere to go. Don't worry, Ranger Rocky. We'll help you. I have a plan. First, let's get a bit closer. Okay, Katie and Hero, I need to borrow both your backpacks. You want to use our propellers? Good plan, brother. Okay, here I go. Hello, Junior Ranger. Here, Ranger Rocky. You can use these to fly to our Jeep. Thank you, Leo. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Thank you, Junior Rangers. I'm glad I got out of that jello-like situation. You're welcome, Ranger Rocky. <laughs> so what should we look for now? The reef manta ray likes to live alone, away from other manta rays. So if you want to find a home for the reef manta ray, just look for an empty place in the coral reef, not for a slab of beef or an autumn leaf. But look for an empty place in the coral reef. I see. So not for a slab of beef or an autumn leaf, 
but, but look, look for, for an empty, empty place, place in, in the coral, coral reef. reef. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the manta ray, you have to look for an empty place in the coral reef where there are no other manta rays. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty place in the coral reef. Is that place empty? Hmm, no. There are sharks. They could eat the reef manta ray. Let's continue. That spot looks empty. Oops, it isn't. There's another adult manta ray living here. Let's keep looking. Is this place in the coral reef empty? Yes, it is. There are no predators or other reef manta rays living here. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found a safe home for the reef manta ray. Hooray! Yay! a reef manta ray pup in our garden. We learned that the reef manta ray lives along the coasts of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and that they like to live alone around coral reefs. So we went to a coral reef and found the manta ray a new home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The scalloped hammerhead shark. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh, this? I found this seashell at the beach. I've got a whole box full of seashells. If you put the seashell close to your ear, you can hear the sea. Here, listen. <coughs> it sounds just like the sea, doesn't it? <coughs> What's the matter, Hero? Hmm? I think there's something underneath the seashells. It's a fish. Look at the shape of its head. It's so weird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information about the fish? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The fish you found is actually a young scalloped hammerhead shark. The shark gets its name from the unusual shape of its head, which looks like a hammer. The shark's head helps it to find prey. There are special sense organs spread out over the wide head of the scalloped hammerhead shark. These organs help the shark to pick up electrical signals that are given off by animals underwater. Wow! Just like a radar! So, what animals does the scalloped hammerhead shark eat? Scalloped hammerhead sharks mostly eat fish like sardines and herring, and sometimes animals like squid and octopus. Bigger hammerhead sharks even eat smaller sharks. But since the shark you found is still young, it prefers to eat small fish and shrimp. By the way, scalloped hammerhead sharks live in the warm tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Hmm. The pond in our garden isn't big enough for the shark to swim in. We should bring the shark back to its home in the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs.
hero? Hey, where did the shark go? Let me have a look. I see the hammerhead shark. It's chasing shrimp underwater. Oh no, the shark is caught in the net. The net must have come from that boat over there. I think it's a shrimp trawler. What's a shrimp trawler? A shrimp trawler is a fishing boat designed to catch shrimp. Unfortunately, other marine animals are sometimes caught in the nets by accident. These marine animals are called bycatch. We've got to save our friend from becoming bycatch. Katie and Hero, you stay here and watch the jeep, okay? What do you think, Hero? Should Leo have all the fun alone? was close. Thanks, Katie and Hero. I could not have done it without you two. No problem, Leo. It was actually Hero's idea. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the young shark's home, just look for water by the shore. Not for a candy store or an angry boar but look for water by the shore. I see. So not for a candy store or an angry boar, but, but look, look for, for water, water by, by the shore. shore. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young hammerhead shark's home, you have to look for water by the shore. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be water by the shore. The seashore's shallow water will make a good home for the young shark. Good luck! Is this water by the shore? No, the water here is too deep. Let's move on. What do we have here? Hmm, that's water by the shore, but there are fishing boats nearby. It's not safe for the shark to live near these boats. So let's keep looking. What about this water? There's a shore, and there's a group of young scalloped hammerheads. This must be a good place for the young shark to live. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the young hammerhead shark's home. Great work, everyone! Yay! We found a young scalloped hammerhead shark in our garden. We learned that scalloped hammerhead sharks come from the tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. So we went to the ocean and brought the young shark back to its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The mola. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, it's a beautiful day. Let's soak up the sun. Ah, isn't this nice, Hero? Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Ranger. What do you have at the back of your truck, Ranger Rocky? It's a fish known as the mola. I'm bringing it back to the ocean. Oh, excuse me. Ranger Rocky speaking. Oh my, I'll come over right away. 
I have to rescue an elephant that has its foot caught in a trap. Can you junior rangers help me return the mola to its natural home? Yes, I can. But where does the mola live? Thank you, Leo. I'll call you again. Ranger Rocky, wait! <coughs> where do molas live? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mola. Hi, Katie. What have you found out about the Mola? Hi, Leo. The Mola is also known as the ocean sunfish, and its scientific name is Mola Mola. The word Mola is a Latin word for millstone. A millstone is a circular stone that is used to grind grains. The Mola sure looks like a millstone. Is it as heavy as one? An adult mola can weigh over 2,000 kilograms and can grow up to 4 meters tall. However, it has a very small mouth for a fish its size. Molas eat some small fish and squid, but its favorite food is jellyfish. Jellyfish normally sting, but molas are one of the few animals that can eat jellyfish without getting hurt. Wow, that's amazing! But Ranger Rocky wants us to bring it back to its natural home. So where is that? Well, the mola is also called the ocean sunfish because it lives in temperate and tropical waters of every ocean in the world. Hmm, we have to bring this mola back to its home in the tropical waters. Come and join us! That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs! to let the mola out. There you go, mola. Swim away and find your friends. Look, the mola is enjoying the sun. Oh no, those seagulls are pecking at the mola. Let's chase them away. Shoot, Shoot seagulls, seagulls, go away. Go away. Now there are more seagulls. Let's throw out some breadcrumbs. Maybe that will distract the seagulls. Yes, let's try that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Katie and Hero, let's take out our propellers and chase these seagulls away. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Do not stop the seagulls, Junior Rangers. They are helping the mola. Besides small fish, molas often seek help from seagulls to remove parasites from their bodies. Then let's not disturb the seagulls anymore. We've returned the mola to the ocean, but it still needs to find food. Jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So if you want to find food for the mola, just look for jellyfish in the ocean not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but look for jellyfish in the ocean. I see. So not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but, but look, look for, for jellyfish, jellyfish in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find food for the mola, you have to look for jellyfish in the ocean. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a swarm of jellyfish. What are those? They're spiky and definitely not jellyfish. Let's move on. Is that a jellyfish? No, it's a clear plastic bag. We'll make sure to clean that up later. Let's continue. What do we have here? 
These are jellyfish. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, Mola Mola. We did it. We found jellyfish for the Mola to eat. Great work, everyone. Yay! Yay! Ranger Rocky left a mola in our garden. We learned that small fish and seagulls help to get rid of parasites that live on molas. And that jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So we brought the mola back to the ocean where it can eat a lot of jellyfish. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.